An unusual theft has law enforcement looking for some more information tonight. Almost $7,000 in diabetes testing strips were taken from some area Target stores. As an local News 6 reporter, Mia McCormick joins us now with more on this. And Mia, this is not the kind of thing you would expect would be a target for thieves. Not at all, especially because they are usually covered by insurance almost all the time. In fact, many stores keep things like video games and razor blades that are only a quarter of the price of these strips under lock and key. But it's because the strips are not a high theft item. The usual medical holdup. The thieves were not looking for Oxycontin or potent drugs. The items Maria Martinez Cartagena and Yorlan Amador are accused of taking can't be used to get high and are normally covered by insurance. There was a few people going to several locations um, identified so far as Target stores to steal diabetes testing strips. A loss prevention officer at the Target on South Tamiami Trail caught Martinez Cartagena in the parking lot with boxes of diabetes testing strips. She used a special foil lined bag to fool security sensors. She was arrested and an alert deputy caught her partner when he tried to bail her out. And in walks one of the other suspects who he had observed on the surveillance video. The two stole over $7,000 worth of diabetes testing strips from two area targets. The question is why? The diabetes strips come in boxes of 50 to 100 and retail anywhere from 60 to $100 a box. Many stores like Target don't lock them up because they're not considered a high theft item. So we're not exactly sure what's going on here, but thanks to the work between Target, jail personnel, and the deputy, now we have at least a start in two suspects and a suspect vehicle. There are indications that this could be more than just a random incident. Martinez, Cartagena, and Amador are from Texas and have no known social security numbers, according to deputy reports. We found the diabetes strips on eBay, selling for half the department store prices, and uninsured diabetics may turn to less legal alternatives. We can look further, not only in Florida and in this area, but maybe along the path they drove from New Orleans. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office will not speculate right now on why the two were stealing such large quantities of the strips, but they are investigating the two and several of their associates further. Mia, are any other local stores having issues with these types of things being stolen? We stopped by a few medical supply stores and they had never heard of anything like this. They had never had these stolen from them, although some of them do keep them just because of the price right. behind the counter. Sure. They said even the ones that keep them out never had a problem with this before. Hmm. All right, Mia McCormick reporting for us. Thanks, Mia.